Yo, 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 what's up, Diamond family? It's your man, Vivi, and welcome back to the VVS Academy. As you guys know, I'm here every week dropping off gems, teaching you to record and mix your music better. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. Look, man, I got a really crazy video for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you guys the three steps you need to EQ any vocal every time perfectly. All right, I won't over talk it. If you need a template for recording in Logic or recording in Pro Tools, check out my free templates down below. They're going to change the game for you and get you sounding great when you're recording right away. All right, so let's go ahead and play back the track and then we'll dive into the EQ secrets. Let's get it. Couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean. Couple handy bottles, couple shots. Okay, bet. Um, as you can hear, the vocal, it sounds good, it's tracked well, but everything's just a little bit muddy. Um, let's hear that one more time and then I'm gonna dive into the first track to the first tip. Um, I just want to get us a little bit better loop to play back. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them when we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kind of mean. Got a couple handy bottles, yeah, perfect. So the thing is, the track is a little bit muddy. So the first thing we should do is check the balance. So let's go ahead and look at where our beat is hitting um, in relation to where our vocals are hitting. So if we pull up our lead vocal bus, which is right here, um, let's see where our vocals land. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them when we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, because this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kind of mean. Got a couple handy bottles. So cool, as we can see, the vocals are a little bit quieter than the beat. So all we're gonna do is grab a trimmer plugin. Um, let's go ahead and grab the VMR. We'll put the trimmer from the VMR um, to bring the beat down. And that's step one. You wanna make sure that the vocal and the beat are balanced because as you'll hear, once we actually turn this beat down some, it's gonna make the entire vocal just sound different. It sounds super muddy now because it's covered up, but we're gonna probably EQ it differently once we get the balance in check. So let's go ahead and turn this down. We're gonna start with maybe three or four dB. I'm um, gonna see what it sounds like. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them when we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them when we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in Okay, perfect. I think that sounds a lot better. Um, it brought out a lot more clarity in the vocal as well. So let's go ahead and grab up an EQ. Um, we're going to use a few different EQs to demonstrate a few different things. But for right now, we're just going to start using the EQ7, which is just the stock EQ that comes with Pro Tools. All right. So now we've got the, the beat leveled out. The second thing that you want to make sure that you do is roll off. You want to use a high pass filter, which actually means you're going to let the highs pass. So we're rolling off the lows, but the high pass filter is going to let the highs pass through. So let's go ahead and grab um, this band right here, which is going to be a low, um, which is going to be a high pass filter, I'm sorry. And we're going to adjust this um, knob right here, which is the decibels per octave, which is basically how sharp the curve is. Um, and I want a pretty steep curve because we're going to really chop off everything that we really don't need. Um, but we're going to use our ears. That's why I chose this EQ, because we want to try to get good at using our ears to roll off the frequencies that we don't need, rather than looking at um, the, the, the graph. As you'll see, when we use another EQ, like the Infinity EQ, there's actually a, a frequency graph that that plays behind the EQ that shows you where there's a lot of buildup of energy and where there's not as much. And so a lot of times we just rely on what we can see. And that's okay when you're making quick moves, but when we really want to dial things in, we want to use our ears. So let's listen and see where we can really roll off this frequency. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kind of mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but all right, cool. So I like that right there at 83. I might go a little higher. I might go a little lower, but I want you to listen between 80 and 150 and listen to the big difference in how the vocal sounds when you roll off to, you know, um, one direction or the other. And that's what you really want to kind of dial in. It really depends on how you want this specific vocal to sit in this track. So let's listen again between 80 and 150 and kind of hear the big changes. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them when we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but the THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them when we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but 
a THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business. How we talk on this beat and the talks, they probably but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we suited them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business. How we talk on this beat and the talks, they probably but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we suited them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, Yes, there is something about that 83, 85 range that just sounds right for this particular track, this particular vocal, and this particular mix. So we want to make sure that we're dialing in and listening for what works in our specific song. So number two is definitely use a high-pass filter, which remember, the high-pass filter is rolling off the lows. I know it's opposite, but high-pass means you're letting the highs pass through and you're getting rid of the lows. So that's the first thing we want to do is to add a high-pass filter. I'm sorry, that's the second thing we want to do is roll off our lows using a high-pass filter. So I like the way this sounds but I want to use a different EQ because using different EQs give you a different shape um, to the curve and a, and that is going to give you a different sound. So we've got the, infi the infinity EQ we're about to load up here and I want to go back and forth between the two. So I'm going to use my ears again. I'm going to create that high pass filter and see how it sounds on this EQ versus the other one and we'll choose which one is best. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them and we walk up in the and if you'll notice, this is what I was talking about. You can see the graph actually showing like the audio moving and where there's build up of frequencies. And it's right, you can see right here in this 100 range. I know we might have to do some work there because I can see it, but we need to listen to our ears and kind of, you know, dial in and see. So let's go ahead and try to get this done. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean, cause this is grown for business. How we talk on this beat and the talks, they pop up with the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean, cause this is grown for business. How we talk on this beat and the talks, they pop up with the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them. When we walk up in the so we kept a little bit more low end using the Infinity EQ, and I like the the curve is a little bit more gentle. So I'm a bigger fan of the Infinity EQ, but the EQ7 works fine. It's just a little bit cleaner, um, a little bit thinner, a little bit less body, which we could also combat. But for now, we'll keep it as it is. Let's go with the Infinity EQ. So the next thing we want to do is, um, out of those two, the Infinity wins. But let's grab the VMR actually. Let's do one more um, EQ. I'm going to use. Um, the SSL EQ in here and we really have to use our ears again because we just have a knob to play with um, And if you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm I'm really cranking the uh, high-pass filter and really cutting out more frequency than I want And then I'm working my way back until I find that balance and that level that I'm looking for So we're gonna do that with this with this EQ as well And then we'll kind of compare the three and see which one sounds the best Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we suited them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean, cause this is grown for business. How we talk on this beat and the talks, they probably but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we suited them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean. And so the thing about using this EQ is that the curve is set. We can't adjust um, the slope. You see how here we could mess with the, um, the decibels per octave. Even if we're using the infinity EQ, we can also. So just kind of adjust the shape of this to kind of fit what we need to do, right? Um, you see what I'm saying? And so the thing I think was at yeah, 2.93. So the thing of it is when we use this EQ, it's fixed. Um, wow, I'm just clicking a lot of things. I think I had it at 77. This EQ, the curve is fixed, and so you can't really change it. But if you like the sound of this curve, it might fit for what you're looking for in that situation. And I find a lot of times this is just a quick EQ to go, go to and get my filtering done. So let's flip between the three and see which one um, kind of sounds the best for us. I'm going to try to get all three on the, on the screen, and then we'll work through them. So. Let me see. We got the um, SSL EQ playing first, and then we're going to go with um, probably the Infinity and then to the EQ7. So we'll just play them back. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean. Cause Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoomed in them. When we walk up in the club, all their eyes be looming. And I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga. You should know what they mean, cause this is grown for business. 
I still think I like the Infinity the best, but um, I'm really a big fan of the EQ7 as well. So let's finish it, finish it out with the EQ7. So step two is to, to make sure that you use a high pass filter. Let those highs through. Let's go ahead and jump into the next step, which is just an EQ sweep. So we want to grab any band of our EQ and give it a very narrow Q, meaning we want to make the, the, the curve of it very thin and we want to boost the gain. So I'm going to boost the gain maybe 10 dB. Um, and now we're just going to sweep through the frequencies and listen for anything that doesn't belong, anything that jumps out, anything that, that um, is a frequency that's just unpleasant. And we're only boosting our gain 10 dB because if we really crank it, pretty much everything is going to stand out and sound bad. So if it's standing out, you know, when we add 10 dB, it's probably something you want to cut. But don't go too crazy with the gain when you're sweeping because you end up making a lot more cuts than you might have meant to make. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business. Can you hear that frequency really sticking out? I'm gonna do the same thing in the Infinity EQ because we can solo it. So it's about 296, 297. Let's see if we can kinda get the same the same frequency on the infinity EQ and and try to solo it out. Um, we said the frequency was 296. Let's get up there to the 290s. 295 is basically the same thing. All right, and let's see, we got 7 dB boosted. Let's go ahead and go 10 dB boost here and let's hear what it sounds like. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we do them and then we walk up in the club, but they're high speed and then I remember back when, but the THC, the high There's just some woofiness, some fluffiness down there that we don't really need, so what I'm going to do is expand my Q, make it a little bit wider, um, and then just cut a little bit of that, maybe 2 to 3 dB, and then listen and see what it sounds like. So let's start with just 2. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots. Perfect. I really like how that works. So if you notice, here's another kind of trick with EQ. So the frequency that we we really wanted to attack was that 295 296 frequency um, so we're gonna make our cue kind of narrow so it really attacks that frequency but the things outside of that curve they also get turned down so you can see there's a few other kind of build up frequencies around it as well and as we turn down that um, principal frequency that we really wanted to cut the other ones are also getting attenuated or turned down as well if we make the cue just a little bit wider so I like the way that sits let's go ahead and get that fourth and final tip on the EQ train um, and that's just gonna be to add some air man I know we like to add in the mid-range we like to add you know in the 5k we need to go higher go higher go higher I like to add my air really um, 10k and up so that was all, all the way at 11 we can start there and just kind of see how it, how it feels and I also like to kind of make that cue pretty pretty sharp um we're not gonna go crazy let's just start with 2 db and see what it feels like got a couple handy bottles couple shots we zoot in them and we walk up in the club but their eyes be looming and i remember back when but with thc the higher choice nigga you should know what they mean because this is grown folk business how we talk on this beat and the talks Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know what they mean, cause this is grown folk business, how we talk on this beat and the talk stay proper, but the walk kinda mean. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, and when you boost that frequency, like, above, kinda where the voice is, you get more of that... Uh, kind of a little a little grittiness a little high-end kind of fizziness that actually helps the vocal to kind of cut through a little bit more in my opinion it's something that I like to do so there you got it man use those four tips one make sure that the track is actually balanced first two make sure you use a high pass filter three EQ sweep dig out any frequencies and you don't have to do that with just one frequency you can do several sweeps and find frequencies all throughout the vocal that kind of stick out and cut those and then the last one is just boost some air man for that top end you know fizz is just going to cut through just a little bit. Um, that's all you need. So look, man, if you need some more help, drop me a down. <laughs> if you need some more help, drop me a line down below. My name is Vivi and I'm here for you. Remember, man, stay humble. McDonald's only. Peace. Got a couple handy bottles, couple shots, we zoot in them and we walk up in the club, but their eyes be looming and I remember back when, but with THC, the higher choice, nigga, you should know.